Hello and welcome to what's a brand new series of Crusader Kings 3, Royal Court. I went ahead and bought the latest version of the game, basically. Uh, I didn't have Royal Court included on my previous playthrough, but I have got it now. Anyway, so today's video is a brand new series, like I say, and the aim of this series is going to be to become basically a real tyrant, a real nasty piece of work. So we want to be the tyrants of Sardinia. We're going to start with our own ruler. We're going to make our own ruler from 867. So we're going to start in 867. Let's get started with that right away. The way we want to make this guy is obviously so it suits the play style that we're going to have here. So let's just have a look. As you can see, the world is quite fractured in 867. Uh, just a quick note that if you're new here, do please subscribe for regular content, both on Crusader Kings 3, some other games. I've got a series going on Grand Tactician at the moment and Crusader Kings 3, and I make the odd video, uh, historical kind of video, as well as the odd historical battle video. At the moment, I'm making a series called Battles on This Day in History, where I pick a battle that happened on the particular day when I'm recording, and I'll play that on one of my games that I have. So the last one, for example, was the Battle of Lexington and Concord, and I played that on Total War, Empire Total War. Okay, so this video might be a little longer than my usual videos. I'll aim for these videos to be somewhere around 30 minutes once I get into the series. This first video might be a little longer. I'm not sure yet, but it's it's likely to be because I'll be doing a bit of explaining. And we're making this character as well, of course. So uh, I will chapter this, so if you don't want to watch the character creation, for example, if you're not bothered about stuff like that, then you can skip ahead to wherever it is you want to start from. Uh, so like I say, this is Royal Court without any mods at all, so this is just the vanilla game. Game rules, let's have a look. Iron Man. So we're gonna, we'll have achievements available, I think, but I'm, I'm really not bothered about achievements, so I, I don't know. Um, let's see. Play single player, Iron Man mode. Game files that affect gameplay are unmodified. Yeah, we've got no mods at all. If you're playing a character made in the ruler designer, it did not exceed the point of 400. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna stick to the 400 point limit. And that's fine. We're going to play on normal. Like, I'm not an expert at this game, as you'll know if you watched my previous episode. I kind of bumble my way through it and sort of hope for the best. So yeah, so we're going to play in Sardinia. We're going to play as this guy. Well, as a new guy, but it's going to be the Judicadu. I don't know if that's how you say it, of Cagliari. I used to like playing a Sardinia back in the day in Crusader Kings 2. I have not played regularly on Crusader Kings 3, to be honest, uh, and, and I'm not overly familiar with this, but we're going to go with it. We're going to have a go, and I want to make a little tyrant island or islands. The aim is going to be not to expand, not to do anything really. We're going to, we're going to basically rule our islands with a, an iron fist. We may expand out into these Balearic islands, but... There's going to be nothing huge in the way of conquest. It's going to be a localized campaign. I'm going to try and make it interesting. I'm going to be a real, a real bastard, basically. So, when possible, we will use intrigue or warfare. If something's not going right for us or if somebody annoys us, we will execute them or take their lands or both. So that's going to be the aim for this series. If you've been following the Britannia series, fear not. I will carry on with that series as well. We'll be, we'll be running the two alongside. But the Britannia series, I feel, is kind of coming to a close. And probably a few more episodes and that'll be done. And then this one will be the main one, which I'll carry on until I get bored of it. Or until people stop watching. But anyway, so let's go ahead and make our character. So create your own ruler. And we're going to stick to the 400 point limit. We're going to be a male. Uh, he actually looks all right. He looks like he could be a bit crazy. We're going to start at the age of 18. We'll make him heterosexual. Now, for an added little twist, we could also, we could make him Catholic rather than Orthodox. That means it might be a little more challenging, I guess, uh, because our, our subject will be of the Orthodox faith. So, so, so if we go ahead and go be Catholic, yeah, let's do that. It means the Pope's just over the river as well. We could maybe have some intrigue going on with him. It might just make the whole thing a little more interesting. Now, let's go with a traditional Sardinian sort of name. McKelly. Yeah, that, that sounds all right. Let's be McKelly. Mike. Mike the Tyrant. <laughs> make him a big fatty? No. We'll just keep him kind of normal, sort of. He looks all right, actually. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about changing his appearance, if I'm all honest. Um, yeah, he's got a bit of a suntan. Beard, I quite like that kind of crazy look he's got going on. 
hairstyle. I also actually quite like that. Let's see what else is there. Which hairstyle is this one? Uh, large curly. So if I need to go back, we can go back to that one. Yeah, that's all right as well. Uh, so like I say, if you, if you don't actually want to watch this bit, then you know, very long wild. No, I don't think so. Short afro. Nah. Braids. Mullet. Uh, mullet's pretty cool. Let's go back with that original one. Was it large curly? Oh, I can't even remember now. Anyway, yeah, let's we'll just go with that. We'll we'll go with this look. It's fine. Now, education. So we wanna we're gonna play like a game where there's gonna be a lot of intrigue, I think, anyway. So we're gonna it's gonna be an elusive shadow. Personality. Wrathful. Yeah. So this is taking the points of quite a lot, so we haven't got loads to play around with in the skills department, but that's fine. Other traits, what can we do here? Blade Master? Aspiring Blade Master. Little health boost and plus three prowess. Yeah, let's go with that. So that's used up more than half the points we have available. That, that's okay, we've still got lots to use. So let's see then. Diplomacy is not going to be mega important, but we'll, we'll pop a bit in nine. Marshal, now we may well go to war. Stewardship, yeah, let's give him a ten for now. Well, I might go back and change that. Intrigue is the one I want to work on, so 17 maybe. Learning, not really bothered. Uh, prowess, all right. Let's go with 13, just in case we have to do any fighting. 388, we could still stick some more in. 395, that takes it too. Cool. So, yeah, I feel quite good going ahead with this guy. So, it's going to be Count Michele de Bernicardo of the... <laughs> Judicardo of Cagliari. I'm probably butchering these words, but, you know, it's fine, isn't it? Let's have a look. He's not married. He's not going to have any children. Elusive Shadow, Wrathful, and an aspiring Blade Master. He's got a bit of a wild beard going on, some pretty bitchin' curls. Uh, <laughs> let's just roll with that. And he's, he's 18, so he's born in 849. Awesome. Finalize. Yep. Yeah, there we are then. So Iron Man enabled, achievements enabled. But like I say, I actually couldn't give a monkeys about achievements. And as I was saying, this game is not going to be about expansion so much as just kind of sticking it with it and being a tyrant as much as we can anyway. Let's get started. So I'm going to click start now. So we're going to go. Right, here we are. The very beginning of the game. 1st of January, 867. Let's take a quick look. So yeah, so we have orthodoxy and we have those lines through here because we are Catholic. Little bits of orthodoxy dotted around here from the Byzantine Empire. Obviously all orthodox over here. I think maybe Sardinia was part of the Byzantine Empire up to this point. Or maybe like not far from here. I, I don't actually know, but I, I think it was. Um, so obviously we have a lot of Muslim caliphates and rulers around us. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a pretty... Difficult, a pretty difficult game on the whole, I guess, but we'll see where it takes us. So let's see, let's just have a little look. We've got no factions to start with. Uh, obviously, the court's pretty empty. Council, we're not endorsed by our bishop, he doesn't really like us. The suffragan bishop doesn't like us at all, actually, minus 42. So the first thing I figure is to, we'll, we'll start swaying him straight away. Only 45% chance of success, that's pretty bad. What do we got here? So we've got a Stuart with nine, not too great. Oh, but this is decent. Fifteen for our spy master, but she also doesn't really like us. She is, of course, an orthodox. Uh, she won't convert either. I'm sure she will eventually once she gets around us. A uh, ten for the marshal, well, an eleven for the chancellor. So that's that's okay. We haven't really got actually. We've got nobody decent available at all. Who we got here? We've only got him spare. Possessed. Our Chancellor's possessed. That's a good start. <laughs> uh, let's have a go. Maybe we'll find these guys some wives. If we can. It's kind of how I like to start things off. It, it sort of bu starts bulking out your court a little at the start of the game. All right. So being possessed is an inheritable trait. Interesting. All right. Is this guy not got a wife? No, none of these guys are married, it seems. Uh, 20 martial skill for this girl. I'm not sure it makes any difference since these are our... 
our court, yes, but you know, we'll bring some people in, we'll get some new blood into our court. Giant, that might be handy for breeding some warriors. Let's see. She is married. Oh, she, this is our spare guy, the evil blackguard. He's got prowess 13, so he'll make a decent knight. Sadistic. <laughs> decent, nice, nice bloke, eh? All right, then. So let's have a look, then. We haven't got a lifestyle. Obviously, we're going to go with intrigue, certainly to start with. And we are going to go with the intimidation focus. So we're going to get plus two to intrigue straight away and plus 30 natural dread. As we're going to be a tyrant, we want to be dreaded. Dreadful. Dread gain plus 30%. That might be a decent one to start with as well. Truth is relative. Um, fabricate hooks, which is obviously going to come in quite handy. Swift execution. So um, murder scheme plus 30%. That's obviously also a good one. Which one is the one where you can... Oh, the kidnapper. I like, I like that one, where you can abduct people. That's an interesting one. So um, let's go with Dreadful to start with. And then I think we'll work down the schema route after that. Yeah, so like I was saying, this first episode will be a little slower than what, what's happening, obviously, because I'm introducing things and we're, we're doing, um, we're just getting started, really. So for the time being, while I'm making the Britannia campaign carry on and, and doing this one as well, there's probably going to be like, I, I think probably two episodes of each until I'm finished with the Britannia campaign. The Britannia campaign is now into 20 plus episodes, so it is coming to a close with that one, I think. I feel like, anyway, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to end that one, but let's focus on this campaign. We have all three holdings in our little, uh, I want to say duchy, maybe. Is it a duchy? Well, we've got three counties anyway. Let's see. We've got some decisions available. We've got few knights. Yeah, that's to be expected. We haven't really got many people. I haven't pressed play yet either. So let's actually go ahead and do that. We're going to start nice and slowly, though. We can hire a court physician. We can create the Duchy of Sardinia. Right, so that's, that's pretty cool. But we haven't got enough gold, obviously. It's going to cost us 250. Marriage is going through. Excellent, excellent. Right, so we are not married either. So what we need a wife to basically have a couple of children with. Let's see if we can find somebody who's going to give us a decent alliance and maybe even some traits that we can pass down to our offspring. Let's see, what have we got here? Uh, basically, what we're going to do with our wife, we'll probably go, we'll keep her until we've got a child or two and then... It might be time for her to do a journey. I don't want to have too many children. I don't want my land split too much. Quick. That could be a good one. But uh, her skills are, let's say, lacking. <laughs> Callous. Calm. Uh, diligent. Yeah, she's she's actually okay. She's got 16 stewardship, which might come in handy at some point. Let's... Dimitra, let's keep it, uh, half an eye on her and see what else we have available, or who else, rather. No alliance with this one, of course, but then uh, we are quite isolated here, and I think we'll probably be okay. Saying that, I might have just jinxed it. 17 stewardship for this lady. Poor Marshall, but, I mean, does that matter too much? I don't think so. Quick. She's Catholic as well. But skills, I mean, they're more average to cross. Perrine, 14 diplomacy, 10 martial, 8 stewardship. Well, she's okay, actually. Let's go with Perrine. We're going to, well, we'll lose 100. Mm. So with the uh, inheritable skill trait, sorry. No, no real... No real uh, alliances available. Oh, she, she doesn't look too bad. Slow. We well, don't want that. Count here. She's 41. She's got 12 in stewardship. Well, that might actually come in handy. And, and she comes with an alliance with a thousand men. Yeah, let's go Let's go ahead with that. I mean, it's not quite what I wanted. She, she's only 15, actually. So we'll be betrothed, I guess, to start with. Pretty poor skills, but like the 12 and stewardship may well come in handy. So let's we'll go ahead with that. See if she gives us a couple of sons. Maybe a couple of daughters as well. That'd be nice. So who we got up here? Ozoku. Ozoku. Okay, he'll be our first sort of target for um, scheming. So we can kill, we could kill him, but 
not much point in that just yet. Let's get let some time go by first. Before we go too crazy, it would be nice to have a player air. I'm gonna speed it up and let time roll a little, pick up a little bit of money. A merchant has sent me samples of seeds. Plants she claims are good for health and mind. I must admit I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard could it be? So we could start a garden. 16% chance that we get the trait herbalist. Seeker of knowledge. 55% chance we get plus one learning. What's our learning? Just now. Eight. Uh, so it's poor. If we got an extra one, that would be all right. It would take us to medium. Or we could get 15. Well, I think it's worth a gamble. 15 is not much anyway. Oh, and we gained Herbalist. Excellent. So with Herbalist, we get plus two Intrigue and plus two Learning. So our Intrigue's on 21 already. That's awesome. Let's just pause it a second. Um, it's said Betrothed can marry. I guess we're married now. It just whizzed by too fast. Uh, reckless and a skilled tactician. So, well, I mean, that didn't really do much for her stat line. But, I mean, she's okay. Let's see if we can't get some children out of this. Learn language. Hmm. No, but we're swaying the, the bishop guy, actually. And we didn't manage it. He's 78, so he'll be dead soon anyway. It doesn't matter too much, I guess. We've got 82. Can we build anything? Not really. Never mind, not really. Not at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Our neighbour in the north here. I finished reading the latest letter from my suffragan bishop, Colnoth, and smile. He seems to have warmed to me at last. While this is a success, I am tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. Time to put my diplomatic skills to the test. 60% chance we get plus 20. The victory is enough. We'll get 30. That, that'll do. It's enough. He's nearly dead anyway. I'm not going to chance not. Still not endorsed by him, but only on minus seven now. Sardinia has an interesting slot here. We can build a special building, a mine. Ah, and the wife's pregnant. Excellent. So actually, while I'm doing this, why don't we also start converting the faith? I mean, I know this dude's only got seven and he's... And he's 79 now But we can get started Let's start with Converting the faith of Cagliari To My faith Seven years He's not going to see that out I wouldn't think Oh we've got a perk available as well I must have missed that And we've got a daughter Margarita Yeah that's, that'll do Margarita That's a nice name So we've got an heir at least It is a girl But That's okay for now Let's make sure we keep a good eye on her Right, so let's go with truth is relative. And then we could maybe start causing some havoc here by killing this guy's family. Destabilizing the realm up here. Murder. 75% chance of success on murder there already. Fabricated hook, 90%. Although, I don't know what we're going to do with the hook exactly. Maybe when we have the duchy available, we could do that and then get him to vassalize if that's an option. I'm not too sure. Like I say, I'm absolutely not an expert at this game, as you will discover if you watch this series through. I do enjoy playing it, but I'm certainly not an expert player. I'm always happy for hints in the comments as well. I mean, I don't always follow the hints that people leave and the suggestions, but uh, take them on board, that's for sure. Oh, so this buffoon has made um, our northern neighbour, our Sokko, not like us too much. It's We've got to keep an eye on this as well, because we're surrounded by potentially hostile forces. And they're all more powerful than we are. We can raise maybe 1,400 men, plus obviously our... Allies, 650, well, like a thousand-ish men. But that's not really much in the scheme of things. We could actually betroth our daughter to the Duke of Toulouse, which would give us um, 
That will give us a reasonable alliance with another 1,300 men. That might actually come in handy. Let's go ahead and do that. It may not come to any fruition. It's still a long way off, but... Yeah, that's not bad. Married into a ducal family. Excellent. So we are now allied with the Duke of Toulouse. We'll see the Viking Kingdom up here. Jorvik. Ah, so he, su he supports us now. We can stop this sway scheme. Let's try a murder scheme on him, just, just to see what happens. Let's also have our spy master support our schemes. That way it takes it to an 87% success chance. So let's see how that goes. Cool. Once we have the money in the bank, we will form the duchy here. A bad omen for a bad judeki. Yeah. So he gets bad omen. Moderate health penalty. Okay, cool. And our scheme gains progress. So it's a nice, <laughs> nice way to start this off, I think. A nice little murder. That looks like a tunnel we can use. I found old architectural sketches of the Judicki's castle. Is it Judicki? I don't know. <laughs> Judicki doesn't sound quite right. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. Well, it looks like we can use it. Let's, let's do it. We're nearly in 871 already. It's gone quite quick, hasn't it? Pay the hunter to draw a map. Abandon the idea. Hmm... I think we abandoned that idea. It only had a 41% success chance. Someone else joined our scheme to murder him and our 95% success. Who is this guy? I thought it might have been his heir, but it's not. It's th this guy's his heir. Hmm. Our suffragan bishop still alive. He's 81 now. Still six years left on this Converting County mission. Oh, we've got 150 in the bank now as well. What are we working on? Barracks. Okay, cool. Oh, we are actually the cultural head as well for Sardinia. That's excellent. Um, while I'm at it, actually, let's have a quick look. Stalwart Defenders. Defensive War Peace Acceptance plus 10. Prestige from winning Defensive Wars plus 100%. Gold for winning Defensive Wars plus 100%. All Sardinian characters. Defender Advantage plus 5 Sardinian holdings, plus 25% garrison size. Pretty cool, actually, that. But we are also isolationists. Idle courtiers are less likely to become wanderers if their liege is of the same culture. So they'll not be likely to go and join other courts. Marriage acceptance towards other cultures, minus 50. That's one to bear in mind. Very unlikely to arrange marriages outside of their own culture. Well, we've already just done that, so I don't know. Cultural acceptance gain, minus 35%. All Sardinian characters, diplomatic range, minus 25%. That reflects that we are isolationist, obviously. Same culture opinion, plus 5. And control growth, plus 0.5 per month. Sorry, right. pretty cool. And since we mostly want to keep ourselves to ourselves anyway, that's all good with me. Ah, our bishop's dead. And the new one doesn't endorse us. And we can... Set the plan in motion to kill the Judiki. Oh, it's so cool. Let's see now. He's only 22. Well, I hope you enjoyed your first 22 years, mate. <laughs> Judiki Ozoku is dead. Claimed by the cold embrace of the ocean. The flaming arrow shot by my agent blazed a burning path across the harbour and only moments later the whole boat was up in flames. All passengers ended up in the water and fine fabric gets so heavy when wet. Unfortunately, the archer couldn't be found. Such a tragedy. <laughs> cool. Oh, but, oh, no, no. I was just thinking there, that's cause was a problem. That's actually made that Italy. But no, that's fine. It's a different place. That's Corsica, of course. So this guy is in charge in here now. Um, his military is way smaller than, than the previous one, I think. And obviously he's a new ruler, which could cause him some trouble. 
died under suspicious circumstances. Oh yeah, he sure did. But let's have a look now. We, I mean, you spy master. What happened to ours? Cole North died. Councillor left court. Your spy master for dealer has left a position in court. Uh, okay, I don't really understand why. Oh, right. So, she, so her father is in his court. Okay, well, that's fine. That's a shame. I hadn't quite realised that. But we've got Barbara here. We're going to sign her to this. She's got the same sort of skill set. In fact, it might be exactly the same. And did I just spot somebody with martial skills? Oh, it was a female. We can't have females as marshals, sadly. Only the spy master. That's a shame. That's okay, though. Barbara, okay. Does she need a husband? Let's have a look. Matrilineal. We want someone to come in. Somebody useful, hopefully. Leon? Raimondo. Let's go with uh, Archambaud. Arch Archambaud? French. He's got 13 Marshall. I had looked at him, but he's a few years younger. So let's, let's bring him in. Matrilineally. So he will join our court, I believe. If not, then I've screwed it up. So we can then get rid of this guy. And since we're a tyrant, we don't care about stuff like that. Doesn't really like us very much. Cultural acceptance, short reign. What language does he speak? Uh, French. Why don't we learn French? 69% success chance. Might as well have a go. So she was our spy master. We can't get her back. What if we kill him? Oh, only a 60% chance. That's uh, probably because he's got 10 intrigue, maybe. What about if we kill her? 44%. Yeah, it probably is that. I don't know if I want to go with that with 60% chance only. Let's have a look. What about the Pope? Five percent chance to murder the Pope. We'll leave that be for now. <laughs> These guys over here, eh, no point. Um, what do we need again? Oh yeah, we need to swear this dude. Oh, we can only have one, and we're learning the language at the moment. How long is the language learning going to take? Eight years. Let's come back to that. <laughs> Let's swear this dude instead. Oh, he's got a skill of 20 at least, so that's decent. Skill of 20 is nice, so that's going to be much quicker for converting the faith here. Right, so. New intrigue. Swift executions. That's going to give a murder scale of plus 20. Ding for dirt. Finding secrets. Now, that's another good one as well. We'll be working on that after. I'll be working on all of these, of course. Um, let's just slow it down a moment. And let's have a little think. The Duchy of Sardinia. Yeah, we, we need 250 gold. We've got 160. We're not really making that much, though. Um, what was her skill again? Five for managed domain. Do we make more money if we do that? Let's have a look. So we're at one point. Uh, we're making one point eight profit. Yeah, we we'll get a little bit more. Let's let's get a managed domain. Court physician. Who have we got here? Suffragan bishop. So he's poor. It's not terrible. Uh, yeah, let's appoint him. I mean, it costs a little bit of money, I think, but it also improves his opinion. Which is going to take us closer to, obviously, him being in the positive. Let's go with that. Cost us a little bit, 0.1 or so. That's all right. Speed it up. Show me the money. So the Royal Court thing, I have no idea. I've never used it. I've seen a couple in other videos, people using it. But we have, I don't have access to that because we're not yet a king or an emperor. I mean, I'm assuming we will become the king of Sardinia at some point. But first, we're going to be the Duke of Sardinia, or whatever that is called, uh, when you're a Sardinian. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out together, if you don't know. And if you do already know, then you know. And bully to you. Let's 
Beat it up. It's 872. That's the Suffragan Bishop sorted out. Let's get rid of this sway scheme. Now, why have you not given us another daughter or a son? Come on, woman. She will accept the conversion now. Okay, great. Ah, she's pregnant. She must have heard me. <laughs> All right. So we're up to 192. She's three years old and is charming. Nice. Terrified of us. Intimidated. Good, good, good. Perfect little daughter. Another one. Branca. Not sure about Branca. Let's have a look. Benedicta. Yeah, cool. Got two daughters now. We need a son. Let me see. Who was there any eligible ladies here who we can maybe Barbara? What about Barbara? How would you like to bear us a son? Let's demand a conversion first. Um, Cagliari gained conversion fervor for five years. Cool. So an extra 25% to the levy size. Because new converts are eager to join the levy. Cool. And we're nearly finished here as well. Barbara, where was she at? Or is there anybody else eligible? She's terrified of us, of course. We are a tyrant. Seduce? Not percent. Well, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like us at all. So, well, let's not bother then. Maybe the wrathful thing is causing us some problems. That's ah, okay. Nobody wants anything to do with us. <laughs> and I can't say I really blame them. A new intrigue skill. Hostile scheme success chance plus 25%. That's a good one. Let's slow it down a little bit. We're almost there. Almost got the money for creating the duchy. That time blast on. Oh, and we've converted the faith. Awesome job, mate. Let's get on to the next one. We need those resources for the troops. If one small village in Cagliari has to starve, the heated argument between my counsellors follows me out of the room, and Barbara, the representative from Cagliari, greets me with tired eyes as I approach. Here, this decree will force them to leave you alone. So she would lose 20 opinion, we gain 50 lifestyle points, and Cagliari gets encouraged improvements, but she loses 20 opinion. What is one village in the grand scheme of things? We gain increased levies, but they get abandoned villages. Uh, I don't care if she has minus 20. We gain some intrigue and... Oh, and smuggling ring. Development growth minus 30. Supply limit minus 30. What's going on here? How do you like the stew, my lord? Mixed in with pieces of vegetables are fatty chunks of meat. The stringy texture interrupted with what looks to be short and sparse fur. When asked about the ingredients, my private cook... Eusebia only smiles and tries to placate me. My only wish is to serve you, my lord. She thinks she can keep secrets from me. Ate a good meal. Small health boost. 47% chance that we managed to find out the ingredients from this godless planner. Alright. 22 intrigue skill. Whoa. Let's see if we can find... Uh, it starts an intrigue challenge with her. What was our intrigue score? It was about the same, I think. But she's not interested either. Let's bring this guy in with a 20 intrigue or 21. They could maybe breed some intrigue children. She's 29 already, I suppose. Um, let's go with this guy. He's just 33. The other hand's 39. Well, we'll just go with eight a good meal. There's only a 47% success chance on the other option. So we've got good health, eight a good meal, aspiring blade master, and herbalist. That's not bad. We got smuggling ring in 
Tortoli. So supply limit down, development down. Tortoli is this place. Oh, we're on 250. Awesome. Okay, let's do it. You are now a mighty Archon. Archon? Should we say Archon? I think Archon. I doubt Sardinian say it. Either way, but that's it. We are a Duke now. Let's see. Offer this guy Vassalage. He won't have it. Can we fabricate a hook on him? Let's see if that... I'm not sure if you can use a hook to get him to be our vassal, but we'll, we'll find out in a moment. Uh, excellent. Okay, so we've got that guy. Oh, it's, I've got some sort of achievement there. I'm not sure what it was, but, uh, you know, an extra achievement. Nice. So what do we actually need to form the Kingdom of Sardinia? Why don't we have a quick look? So we need five counties. That's not undoable, is it? Uh, 500 gold and two duchies. So yeah, if we take this place over, then that's that would be enough. Obviously, we haven't got nowhere near the money. But this would be a fairly decent start, I think. But we're pretty skint as well. We've got no money to speak of, really. Nearly ready for an extra point for our intimidation focus. It's already 876. Fate of the Visigoths. If you'd like to read this, obviously pause the video and do so. I've read it a few times before already. I was considering just cracking on with this, but I'm tempted with this for with the 30% fertility enhancement since we still haven't got a son. Let's go with that. And then we'll work down the rest of the schema route. Let's see if this hook comes to fruition. Would it not be wonderful if Judiki Felictu owed me, not out of fear, but out of gratitude, if I, for example, were to save him from vicious bandits while he was out travelling? Indeed, vicious bandits like the men currently waiting outside the castle gate. I would charge in with my guard at the last moment, driving them off and leaving Felictu in a life debt to me. So simple, yet so convincing. Well, it will cost us... Oh, what's this actually? Building influence? Nah. Uh, so it'll cost us 50, so we're going to go a little bit into debt, but let's see what this does. Got a weak hook on him. Surely that won't be enough. It is a well-known fact that courtiers will scheme and plot, but I may be able to use this to my advantage. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious of each other and distracted with infighting, they will not have time or resources to scheme against me. I'll begin spreading rumors at once. The rumours cause my courtiers to distrust each other, so they would all hate each other. We get a hundred intrigue. Let's have a look. Court spies for five years. Nah. Let's do it. We'll spread rumours. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Oh, our daughter needs a guardian. And who better to do this job than ourselves? We are in debt. Yes, I know that. Offer Vasilich. All right, yeah. So, no, we can't offer him. We can't do that with a hook. Can we do anything with a hook? Arrange a marriage? Hmm. But we would accept anyway, even without a hook. Matrilineal with a hook? No, no chance. Uh, yeah, no, because if we did that, even the children then wouldn't be of my line. No, no, no. Bold fool. Unmarried. So that's his heir. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just get him to... St uh, no, no, I was going to say get him to stop... Spreading the religion. How long has that got left? Let's see. 20 months. Let's finish that and maybe we'll just start. We'll just take one of these off him. We'll take one of his counties off him. I'm going to speed it up. Let our money sort itself out because we're still in debt, which sucks. There, we are out of debt at least. We can declare two wars against sultans. I 
Don't really want to tangle with those guys yet. We are not powerful at all. And like I say, really, we want to just keep to ourselves. Fresh converts volunteer. Conversion further, further again and totally cool. And she's pregnant again. Let's hope she gives us a son. Oh no. We're ill. Do no more than is necessary. Even worse! He surrounded me in soft pillows and gently tucked me under many layers of blankets before he left my chambers. Yusubi... Yusubio pulled my curtain shut. It was noon. Some extra sleep did nothing to improve my state. In truth, I think I feel worse. Yeah. Let's do him. He's worse now. Disease symptoms. Moderate health penalty. This traitor deserves to die. You do not mess with the tyrants of Sardinia. You just don't. <laughs> I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Alfonso, and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. There has to be some terrible misunderstanding. Minus 30. <laughs> Never mind. As I woke this morning, yeah, we sorted out. So we killed that guy. But <laughs> killed that dude for nothing, really. Uh, the new bishop sucks. We shouldn't have killed the other one, but, you know, that's the way it is. Can we get rid of this dude? Yeah, let's get him killed. We'll get him murdered. <laughs> uh, Unshire Lust. Removes attraction penalties from juice schemes. Maybe that might be a handy one to have soon. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for digging for dirt. There was also a useless census of Arborea. Arborea? Not sure. This place here. So we finished that. While we're plotting to kill him, let's get him started on fabricating a claim. It's going to take him 17 months. We haven't got any money either, which is obviously going to be a problem. And we're not endorsed by the bishop either. But we're plotting to kill him. How long is it going to take? 10 months. I don't think it's worth swaying him. No, it's going to take 12 months to sway him. Another daughter. Jeez. She's only 26. We've got time. Beatrice? Yeah, cool. Let's speed it up. Over the years, I've received a great deal of portraits from various noble women, both foreign and local. Until now, they've mostly gathered dust in some attic. Perhaps I should bring them out and select my next romantic pursuit. Ah. I don't think we've got time for this at the moment. We're not going to play medieval Tinder just now. Uh, picky about partners. Plus five attraction. Yeah, fine. Impeccable households. We gained 150 prestige. Uh, and a meal to die for for this bishop who's useless with a skill of seven. Although he's actually already infirm because he's left him to it. But let's hope he doesn't choke on this dinner now. Must have been something he ate. A new bishop. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, he's a little better, but he doesn't like us either. So let's go and let's swear this dude. Yeah, make him like us a little more. And we're nearly finished with this. It's a shame we haven't got much money. See it done. It's going to cost eighty-seven. So it's going to put us in the hole a little bit, but it means we'll be able to capture that place eventually once we've got a little bit more cash. Margarita came to me complaining about Eva bullying her. Oh. She's been hiding all over the castle to avoid facing other children. She keeps the trait craven. Why not hide in your room instead? <laughs> uh, a bully deserves whatever punishment you can, manage, uh, you can imagine. So she would get arbitrary. Yeah, cool. Let's go with that one. We're in debt. Yeah, no shit. She's pregnant again. Let's hope for a son this time. While... Uh, Women can't inherit, obviously, but it makes things a little more tricky. Jeez, another daughter. Oh, and actually, it makes it even more tricky because she is our blimmin' heir. And she is married to this guy, so we need rid of this dude, really. 
And what better way to do that than to get rid of him? So we've got kidnapper unlocked now. We failed to sway him. Really? Jeez. So, what's he? he's got no allies. We haven't got much money, so we will end up in debt. Um, let's go ahead and do that. My claims. Let's raise our men in Tortoli. And we will be the commander, apparently. Nobody better. Okay, fine. We just have to be a little careful since we don't have a real heir. Quite small armies here. 800 men, 1300. We can pull allies into this, but we won't. Now, of course, at this stage of the game, we don't have any siege equipment. Oh, he's actually fighting... He's fighting another force up here. Excellent. Cowardly knave he is, this bishop. <laughs> and he's terrified of us. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, abandon that idea. Let's, let's just see. Um, I'm going to get the bishop... Oh, not, not fabricate a claim. We've still got another county that is not Catholic. Let's work on that. So the chicken duke man from up here. Uh, chicken symbol. I don't think I'd bother with that. But he's going to win this little battle here, actually. <coughs> oh, maybe some allies are arriving. I don't even know what war this is. They must have gone to war with them just at the same time as I did. Yes, he's defending against uh, the Vecchian claim on Kalura, but that's, that, that's what I'm fighting for, so get in line. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's just going to magically walk past us. 68% chance that he dies. 17% chance that the scheme is discovered. Let's see. Let's, we'll just see what happens. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> Beat and trampled by his own subjects. The agitated peasants went wild seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore both him and several of his knights from their mounts, beating them to death. Many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means it cannot be traced back to me. Never underestimate the power of the mob. Excellent. So our daughter, is she back with us now? Yes, she is. She's 11 years old. A spineless blackguard. She's taken after us. <laughs> Let's find her husband and marry matrilineally. That still gets us a... That's interesting. So that still gets us an alliance. And does that mean he then joins our court? I think so. He's 25. He's a little older than her, but that's okay. 16 for diplomacy. That's not to be sniffed at. All right. Matrilineally. So that's, does that mean he then joins our court? I, I think that's what it means. So the children will be off our line. Yes, cool. So just in case we don't have a, a male heir then, that's that's the reason for this. So we've already killed four people. Not too shabby. Taking prisoners in the siege. Stepdaughter of the Duke. Or whatever he is. <laughs> Executed two-year-old. Well, burn at the stake. Yep, see you later. Harsh! We are a tyrant. We don't care. There we are. Enforce our demands. We gain 10 fame. We gain the lands. So be it. Right. So now we're actually at war with this dude. 
Because he was still at war for our lads. Oh, let's just slow this down. Now, that's actually a slight problem because... They've got 900 men here. We can call our allies to war, of course. And it costs nothing because it's a defensive war now. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Call them in. Let's get this war finished, and I think I'll draw the episode to a close there. Excellent. So our two allies are going to come. I mean, chances are we won't need them, but you never know. So this guy uh, really doesn't like something. I suppose we did kill his child. <coughs> or stepson, stepdaughter, anyway. Well, terrified and intimidated. I did say we were going to be a real nasty piece of work. I mean, I hadn't anticipated um, executing a two-year-old at the beginning of play, but, you know, that's just that's how we roll in this game. Dread of 50. Oh. We will probably lose. Will we? You're supposed to be friends, not enemies. Oh, dearie me, we are going to lose. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That is bad news indeed. We just lost that battle. Even though we well outnumbered them. We're running away. Run away. Ah, here's some more allies. I'm glad I called them now. <laughs> Let's get into this fight. Ah, uh, it's not ever going to be needed. Close, though. Okay. We didn't sway him, but actually he endorses it now. Us, so we can stop swaying him. Uh, is he working? Yeah, he's still working on that. All right, so let's besiege this place. Get it over and done with. Since we inherited this war, we didn't seek this war with these guys. And that's that. So she keeps wrathful. Yeah, because she had a brawl with her bully. Cool. All right, so we captured... Count Oliviero's son. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not his heir, but it's his son. We might sell him. Actually, I might not execute him. Um, let's enforce his demands anyway. He loses his claim. Well, he pays us two hundred ninety. Oh, nice. Hostages will be released. Well, okay. So be it. Right, let's disband this army. And we've got a nice chunk of money here now. But, here we are. This is Sardinia. We only need this last place, and it'll be ours. He will not have vassalage, because he, I think, just because he hates us, basically. That's all right. Can we just... We can't just remove his... Claim because is it because we yeah we don't have uh, limited crown authority yet but that's fine um, we'll get this last place so this was quite a fun little start we got a few murders and kills in here um, do we have any prisoners in the prison no we don't I was just thinking we could end it off with an execution but there's nobody really to execute just now um, a little concerning that we haven't got a son We've got four daughters well you know. Maybe we'll try for a bastard in the next episode if she's not going to be obliging. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a problem, and she hasn't... Oh, she's still just betrothed because she's only 13. Uh, let's see. Oh, she hasn't got a guardian either. Oh, no, this one hasn't got a guardian. Okay. Let's give it to Beatrice, one of our courtiers. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so we might have to have a look at... 
uh, an extra marital child who can put in here. But maybe not. I'm not sure yet. How old are we? 35. She's 32. We could always do away with her, actually. 93% success chance and start with a new one. Let's decide in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think we should maybe get rid of the wife and get a new one, a younger model, perhaps, uh, and see if she could pop out a few children, a few sons, or at least one son? What do you think? Have you enjoyed it? Did you like this episode? Uh, I'd love to hear back from people in the comments. So this was the first episode, getting started. It was a bit longer, like I say it was, uh, it was going to be. So this one's probably, I'm not sure, I can't see the timer. It's probably running around an hour or so. Uh, and a regular episode will be approximately 30 minutes, give or take. So whatever you're doing, hope you're having a great day. And remember to come and subscribe. This is just a small channel and I would love for it to grow a bit more. It's difficult to compete with the bigger channels on YouTube, as you'll know if you do your own channel. And if you're just a viewer, you'll know that it's difficult to find these kind of smaller channels. And when you do, you should treasure them. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you did like it, and I hope you leave a like, and let me know what you thought of it. I'll catch you later, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. ta for now.